Hey, what's up guys? It's Apollo here. I hope you guys are doing well. Glad you can join me for another battle in Middle Earth. This is a custom scenario made by Heath Horton. It's pretty much Osgiliath in the desert with some floating rocks. So yeah, pretty cool. Now today's siege battle is going to be a wave battle. Uh, this is a three verse five and the orcs have a, a crazy amount of just mindless orcs ready to fight to the death. Uh, so yeah, this is gonna be a lot of fun. They will, like I said, they will attack in waves. The beginning waves will be uh, pretty crappy troops and then as the waves progress, they're gonna get stronger and better and it's gonna be even more challenging. So it's gonna be a bit of a, a game within a game. Not only do you have to win the battle, but you also have to be smart with your ammo and you don't wanna waste too much ammo on the first couple waves because it would be a waste on just killing really you know crappy orcs. Uh, but yeah, this one's got great artillery. It's super long, so get some snacks and drinks. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Once again, thanks guys for joining me in another epic battle. Let's go ahead and begin this one. All right, so looking at the armies here, we've got some glorious defending armies. We got the Kingdom of Arnor, commanded by Heath Horton, the creator of this scenario. Uh, so Arnor is just an all-around really great balanced army. He's going to rely heavily on his pikes to try to win the day for his, uh, his team. And then in the center, uh, defending the main gates, we've got good old Gondor. Uh, Gondor, a uh, great faction, commanded by Donald Kingslayer. Uh, he has a lot of fountain guard. And look at this cool new uh, unit here, shielded fountain guard. Look at those shields, it looks great, I love it. Uh, but the fountain guard are gonna be a great tool of holding choke points and slaughtering these orcs. I mean, I can already see it now, the fountain guard standing standing on a mound of dead orcs they just slaughtered because the orcs are so mindless, they just run into those pikes. And then finally, we have Dol Amroth, commanded by Cold Front. Uh, so he's got Talon Knights. Dol Amroth is another great, uh, great faction. Very close to the sea, so they've got some naval, like, marine-type units. Uh, very fun stuff. Uh, Dol Amroth Men-at-Arms, just a solid force. I mean, all these defending factions are going to be awesome. So let's now look at the attackers, the five armies. We're going to go really fast here because, well, they're orcs and... Come on, guys. Let's be honest here. Orc lives don't matter. We don't care. We just want to see them get slaughtered. And if you do care about the orcs, well, that's your problem. Uh, but we got Mordor, commanded by Cole. Uh, so I think he's got one of the first, like, cannon fodder armies. Like, he's the first wave. So he doesn't have a lot of good stuff. Uh, back here, though, let's see. There's Cole. They're all kind of mixed together. So it might get... I mean, they, they've got massive armies. Here's another Mordor army commanded by Arnor to victory. I believe he is the second wave in this battle. Excuse me. In this battle. Uh, so, yeah, lots of orcs. Orcs. Uh, orc fodder. Oh, God. You know you're you're in trouble when you're a part of the orc fodder unit. <laughs> like, what? Uh, and then over on this side, uh, let's see. What else do we have? Cole. Okay. We've also got um, Umad Commander. He's also playing Mordor. His army's getting better. He's got Uruks. Uh, he's got mor uh, heavy mor uh, marauders, what are they, maulers? I've never seen that unit. Uh, and then, uh, just yeah, just like more elite units, Sauron's will, uh, definitely more challenging units, trolls in the back here, which is going to cause a lot of commotion for the defenders. And then way over here, finally, I'm pretty sure that's all the armies. We've got uh, Orange Faradine, Faradon. Uh, so he is bringing the Orcs of the Misty Mountains. So he's got heavy goblin infantry, lots of goblins, some black Uruk warband. So a pretty professional army. I think I saw some trolls over here too. Yeah, two units of mountain trolls. So yeah, that's going to be another tough army. And they're attacking on the other side of the settlement. So they're going to settlement. They're going to march all the way this way and uh, attack this back gate, which is definitely going to make it more challenging for the defenders. I think we're missing one more army, guys. Yes, we've got this guy, and I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'll do my best. Meds, Meds, uh, anyway, I don't know. He's got Uruks. <laughs> he's got, he's Mordor. Yeah, he's got uh, the heavy Maulers and uh, uh, yeah, just good stuff. Good old, so he's kind of got like a middle ground army. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the armies. We can go to normal speed and get this battle on their way. And it's already starting, guys, which is exciting. And you can see, look at the frames here on the screen. Just looking at that, you know it's going to be a long one. It's going to be 
a, a grindy one. What we love about uh, Third Age Total War, long battles, grindy fights, orcs, and just fantasy lore, all that good stuff already underway. So you saw right there that the defenders are, are already opening fire with their fire arrows. I don't know if uh, that was just like they were automatically fire. No, it looks like this is a decision by the player. Donald Kingslayer, he's going to go ahead and use some veterans of Osgiliath to uh, very fitting. <laughs> they're defending Osgiliath, sort of. Uh, but yeah, they're using their fire arrows and trying to soften up these orcs. I think he's actually going for the ram. Now, I don't know if the water actually protects this ram. I doubt it, but you know. Oh, here we go, artillery. Now they're using the big big guns. So yeah, uh, this is, yeah, I don't know if the water actually protects that ram, but it would be kind of funny to see this thing on fire in water. Like, what is this sorcery? Now we've got even more archers opening fire. They're really concerned about that ram. Honestly, I wouldn't waste my ammo on that. I, I really wouldn't because, um, well, basically because they're gonna get to your walls regardless. And this is the crap army. And I really don't think they should use any of their ammo. Maybe like one archer can use like half of his ammo or something like that. But any more than one I think is a waste of ammo because your infantry will be more than fine on killing these guys. You don't need to use ammo. Now they're using standard shot. You can see the arrows whizzing by and hitting these orc marauders. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. All right, so the ram is finally getting out of the water. Again, I don't think the water actually, like, uh, you know, protects this ram. Look at this guy. He's like, oh, guys, I'm stuck. Hang on. Hang on. Wait a second, guys. Let me move around. What's happening here? He's like, wait. <laughs> I don't know. I guess he's just using his torso to push the, <laughs> the ram. Uh, but, yeah, the ram's getting closer and closer. He also has some ladders. Ladders are a very good, uh, good siege equipment because they're fast moving. Now, they don't give you the protection. Uh, that siege towers give you uh, but again you kind of give up the protection for speed also you can't like less people can jump on the walls at a, at a single time compared to a siege tower uh, so that's another thing that you lose but rams are quick they're easy to make compared to a siege tower and you can get guys up there pretty fast so here we go I, I abs you know Osgiliath, one of my favorite settlements, and I love this section right here. This is like one of the coolest, like these pillars. The fact that you can kind of zoom in here and watch the men fight on the walls. He's got some nobles and some sons of uh, Argonoth uh, ready to defend here. Sons of Argonoth, never seen these guys, but I believe they are a two-handed sword unit. So they're going to be able to do a lot of damage here. Uh, but anyways, yeah, he's got his ram going to this side. Also, another gate here. Lots of archers. Holy crap, look at all these defenders here. This is insane. Uh, so lots of troops ready to hold the line for uh, for Gondor and uh, this this settlement. Uh, so we can see back over here, just to give you a little little heads up, Osgil or the Orcs of the Misty Mountains, <laughs> uh, they are still making their journey around the, uh, the river uh, to around the riverbed. Uh, to get behind the settlement. Uh, let's go back over to the main. Oh, the artillery coming in. Yeah, so you know how I was saying that they should only use one archer and only about half of his ammo? I don't even think he should use any of his trebuchet. Now, to be fair, it does take a pretty long time to use all your ammo in Medieval 2 for the trebuchet. So he's got time. Like, he can get a couple shots. But if he just... If he just mindlessly, like, you know, shoots his trebuchet, th I think that would be a big mistake. It doesn't seem like he is. I think every once in a while he's firing the trebuchet, maybe waiting for huge targets. But you can see here the archers, look at this. I think this is a little, uh, just not necessary, you know? Like, all these dead orcs dying to arrows, uh, I think they're just wasting their ammo because their infantry is more than capable of killing these orcs without losing too many of their own men and you don't really need the archer support until much later waves and that's why i love wave battles because of the extra strategy going into them for the for the uh, defenders at least for the attackers it's kind of like charge in <laughs> you know just get into the fight 
Um, but yeah, the, the defenders have to be really wise with their ammo. It's a battle of attrition. Now they're charging in some troops troops through the gate and instantly they look at these guys broke instantly. They like turn the corner, they look and they're like, this is what they see. They're like, oh my god. <laughs> no. I'm not charging. I don't care what Sour Sauron says. I'm not going in there. Uh, so a nice green wall, the green wall of death right here from the shielded fountain guard. Now these guys are so terrified. They're like, look, if we retreat, we die. If we advance, we die. We're just going to stand here and pretend we're fighting. <laughs> oh, man, that's a good good defense, though. And finally, I think we've got, yes, we've got our first melee, uh, melee engagement. That's the word I was going for. Uh, they're fighting for the walls here. And again, I don't really see them breaking through. I just don't think this is going to be a possibility for them. I don't think, uh, you know, again, like the person, Cole, who's leading the first wave, he knows he's not going to defeat this army. He knows he's not going to take the settlement. So what he needs to do is get the defenders to waste their ammo. That's about all he can do with his army because they're such crappy orcs. So you can see, like, there's tons and tons. Look at this. Look at this. Cole, now it look, he's doing his job. Uh, that's what I'm trying to explain. You see all these orcs? That's a sign of victory. I know that's weird to say, but he's getting the defenders to waste so much of their ammo over just crappy troops. This might bite the defenders in the butt later on in the late stages of the battle. Now we got more, uh, more, <laughs> yes, more, uh, orcs going up the walls and he's charging up troops or through the wall or through the gates. So finally he's gonna, like, <laughs> what? The cannon, the cannon fodder. <laughs> Like, seriously, can you just imagine just like you, the, what an orc dad's like, son, you're going to join the military. And then he joins. He's like, what unit are you part of? It's like, I'm part of the cannon fodder. It's like, oh, no, you bring disgrace. Uh, who knows? Maybe they they die a noble death of sacrificing their lives for. I mean, let's be honest, guys. Let's be fair. The entire orc army is cannon fodder. Like, <laughs> Let's, uh, unless you're like a troll, but even trolls, it's like, can't, I don't know, it's just the orcs, they just go, you know, like, there's no strategy, they just use their numbers, and they just charge in and just die, and they just hope that their numbers can overwhelm the more trained and, you know, strategic uh, human factions. So yeah, I think these units are breaking, so now they're like, they're just like floating, <laughs> like, they're floating on the walls. Yeah, it's a mod. It's not perfect, guys, but it's pretty damn close to perfect. Uh, so now we've got the Sons of Argonoth who are holding. They've actually, the Orc Raiders here have a pretty solid foothold. I think that's why Gondor is setting up. Oh, my God. Look at all these blades here, these swords. He's got the Gondorian Winged Swordsman. Very cool name. And they are closing in on these Orc Raiders. So they've got them surrounded. They're probably going to break pretty soon because, yeah, it's not a good situation for them whatsoever. So once again, the orcs are just like a deer in headlights, just completely terrified, just floating above the Gondors. Like the Gondors like, wow, how are you doing that? They're like, I don't know, but I, I'm not fighting anymore. <laughs> I'm done. So more orcs coming in, uh, ready to reinforce the gate. And he did not place his ladder up here. Uh, the arch once again, look at this. The archers just kind of going, going to town here. Just opening fire and just w w releasing hell upon these orcs. And that's what Cole wants from this, this faction. That's what he wants from the defenders. He wants them to waste their ammo, uh, get their men to use up all their ammo. So when it comes time to the, like, you know, for the Uruks to attack and like Sauron's will and stuff, they've got nothing except a depleted, tired infantry. Uh, so the, oh, and the trebuchets. Oh, it's going again. Uh, misses both uh, units. I think it was going for the Uruk bodyguard, which I believe the general is in. So, uh, yeah, that was a good good shot there. Uh, now, we've got... I got the gate open on this side. So, the orc fodder, I think they're, they're maybe uh, thinking about going in and charging. But again, like, I, I don't think Cole really needs to just mindless, mindlessly send in his army. I mean, he can, 
but I like the fact that he's got a lot of reserves just sitting out here. Like, he's just kind of telling the defenders, hey, come kill me. Like, use your arrows. That's what we want from you. Like, why rush in all of your troops when you can just slowly attack, which it appears is the, what he's doing. Oh my god, Gondor coming down. Uh, Donald Kingslayer sending over some nobles. I don't know if he's actually, if this might be a misclick, which is a possibility, but this is huge. Uh, I, he needs to take advantage of this. Surround these guys uh, because, I mean, to, to take out a defensive unit like this uh, out in the open, you can surround. Oh, that, that orc's getting wrecked. Look at him. Boom. It's just like, oh, God. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Uh, but now we got the Uruk bodyguard ready to face these nobles. Excellent, excellent uh, opportunity here to kill a very elite unit like this. The banner carrier is like, hang on, guys. Wait for me. Hold on. I got the standard. <laughs> here comes the rest of the unit, I guess. Wow. And now the orcs are like, excuse me, pardon me. <laughs> They're both using the ladder. That's hilarious. Like, oh, don't mind us. All right. <laughs> See you on the other side. <laughs> Oh, man. That's so great. That's so awesome. Uh, but, yeah, the Uruks uh, fighting the uh, Gondorian Axemen. Um, and they are ch they're chewing them up. They, like, the fact that they're just so greatly outnumbered. They're out in the open. The arrows are still coming down. Perfect. That's what they want. Look at that. Just relentless number of arrows coming down. It's raining arrows on these men. And that's what Cole wants. Now, he also has charged in some cannon uh, orc fodder. <laughs> cannon fodder. Uh, charged in some orc fodder against these. Um, so, what are these? Uh, yeah, that's right. Due to dying to wardens. And the wardens are holding back the orcs. The orcs are going to. I think they're wavering. No, they're falling back. They're not breaking, but they are shaken. So, I don't expect these guys to, uh, you know, really fight for much longer. Uh, back over here, I think we've got more orcs. Oh, there we go. The Uruk bodyguard now closing in. Ready to take this position. So once again, they're at it. Well, once again, they're at it again. <laughs> so let's, oh, hold on. There we go. It's a, you know, it's not perfect. It would be really awesome if Total War could figure out a way to do like building battles, you know, uh, where you can, and they did do it for Napoleon, but it wasn't exactly perfect. I think it would be awesome, right? Uh, so let me try to explain it. It might be hard to explain, but what I would do, uh, have these really amazing settlements with like, you know, medieval towns that have buildings in them, have it so you can rush in the building. And when you have a unit in the building, if you zoom over it, that like the top of the building just kind of disappears and you can see the men fighting inside the building. I think that would be so cool. And you could have like special animations where men are like flipping over tables and and like sliding and just like taking cover it would be it would be awesome but uh, I'm sure there's a reason why they wouldn't do that I'm sure it's very expensive to do something like that but I think it would be cool because th that's a major part of siege battles you know like fighting in buildings and breaking down buildings but I mean it's not something that you know I would that would make or break uh, by the way good artillery hits here it's not something that would make or break the Total War series. Like, oh, they didn't add the building combat. But it's something that would add a lot to the game, I think. And it would be really cool. Anyways, I digress. Uh, the Orc Archers. Now he's got Uruk Bodyguard and Orc Archers. Uh, the General is in this unit. And, oh, <laughs> speak of the devil, <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, he's gone. Uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, we've got Sons of Argonoth holding back this horde of Orcs. It does look like the orcs are making some progress, but they're not really. They've just got a lot of bodies in this area, and they're going to be able to get just chew up. It's a slaughterhouse, really. It's just it's the, it, the, the cattle to their slaughter, basically. They're just getting chewed up by these great Gondorian elite swordsmen. And look at all the dead bodies. Most of the, I would say like 95% of those dead bodies are orcs. <laughs> so, yeah. And they're still charging over at the gate. Archer's still firing from the wall. He's got a Dunedine Rangers. Wow, I can't believe they're using so much ammo here. It's crazy. See, now he's firing his ammo at this huge horde of forces. Uh, so, uh, you know, this is like the second half of the first wave, I assume. Cole is now sending in his more elite forces. So it wasn't like his entire force was bad. He does have some Uruks, which I would justify using arrows on. Uruks are pretty good. 
Uh, so it's, you know, it's not a bad decision to do that whatsoever. But uh, yeah, early on though, like you see all these dead cannon fodder troops, not good. <laughs> That's what they're made for, right? The, the, the fodder troops are made to absorb ammo and take the brunt of the defenses, and that's kind of what they did here. All right, so it appears that the rest of Cole's forces have finally made it to the ladders, and they're now setting up some Uruks to scale the walls. This is where things are definitely gonna get more challenging. You can see here that Gondor has pushed back the original orcs who were pushing them back. Not a surprise there. We knew that was gonna happen, but now that we've got Uruks charging in, I still think Gondor's going to win this one, but I feel like they're going to start to lose troops because they are winded. They are very tired. Uh, they, they've been fighting, so far, probably thousands of orcs, you know? It's an insane amount of orcs. So uh, they're exhausted, and uh, they might, after this wave, just change the units. So they've got a fresher unit holding up the walls, or you could leave the same unit. It's still, I think, just as effective. Uh, but it's it's really up to the players and how they want to play this out Personal, Personally, I think I would keep the same units up here until they die You know, like if this was a real battle, obviously I wouldn't do that Like what kind of commander would I be? It's like, you know, sir, our troops on the walls, they're very tired and they've seen a lot of action They'll let them die, just they'll defend to the death Like what? That would not be a good leader So yeah, if this was real life I would probably, you know, change out the units, keep them fresh. But since this is a video game and virtual lives don't matter, especially orc virtual lives, uh, then I would just leave the units up there till the death. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's, yeah, yeah. So a little, well, you know, a little thought there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the orcs are having such a tough time getting through this gate. Still just, they've got orc raiders now instead of uh, fodder. Uh, still just struggling to cut through here. No progress progress whatsoever. More Orc Raiders coming up. We've got Uruks coming up from Cole. And I think this is the second wave. We've got Arnor to victory. Uh, so, oh god! The Trebuchet! That's a good target to go for, I think. Uh, so the Trebuchet opening fire on this huge blob of Uruks who are thinking about crossing. They're like, let's go! Ah, oh, never mind. Never mind, let's wait it out a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I think this is what's left of the first wave. Nothing game-changing whatsoever. I think he's got some... Nope. Uh, he doesn't have any archers, I believe. So yeah, no archers here. He's got a little bit of a blob of orcs here. Uh, that are kind of... I think they're using the walls as a bit of a, a protection. But I don't even think they should do that. Just stand out. Let the archers kill your army. Uh, Cole, the player who's leading the first wave, which is Cole... Uh, he knows that he's not going to get a lot of kills, but his, the way he can contribute to his team, like I said, like a thousand times, get the defenders to waste their ammo. Get them to waste all their ammo, and that's how you could save the team. It's official, guys. Wave number two is underway. We've got Ardor to victory. He's got, well, he's setting up his weaker troops first, and I don't think the defenders are going to buy it. Wow, they could actually reach this? Holy crap, this is just a mosh pit. Look at this, this is just a perfect, like if we could get two good hits here, that would be insanely good. The trebuchet was just short of hitting this this unit. Uh, I think it just, I think originally it was going for the cannon fodder troops, but instead it just completely missed these, uh, missed them and went a little far there because the trebuchet is not very accurate. Uh, but yeah, very smart move, setting up the orc fodder first. Though I would just send everyone at once I know it's probably, maybe you shouldn't because the trebuchet would just chew up your forces. But yeah, we've got the second wave now closing in. The uh, first wave is coming to a close. You can see he's just got a handful of troops who are just getting butchered on these walls. Uh, if we could if we could zoom in, please. There we go. Ah, dang it. Yeah, it gets a little, there we go. That's a pretty cool shot right there. Look at all the, oh, he's actually sent up some Dol Amroth archers. So... When I see archers in combat, I assume they've used up all their ammo. So, Dol Amroth already using up an entire unit's ammo. Wow, that is crazy. That is just crazy insane. Now, to be fair, I don't know how many archers they have. Maybe they've got a ton more. Maybe this is fine. But personally, I would... No archer unit would have no ammo at this point. If I was playing, 
I would just keep it just a couple shots at most, a couple volleys at most. Uh, but yeah, you can see it's getting pretty laggy now because of all the uh, the massive number of troops. The gate battle is still underway. No progress here. Look at this. Just still grinding away, trying to kill the Dunedine uh, Wardens. And even if they do break through the Wardens, we've got a row of Arthodyne Men-at-Arms and some Arnor Gate Guards. And some... Wait, no. Yeah, Arnor Gate Guards. Okay. So, yeah. it's And they're defending the gate. That's awesome. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's going to be a tricky situation for sure. All right, so let's go back over here. Let's see, is he going to send up his reinforce? Oh, okay, he has set. Okay, so smart. So what he's doing here, Arnor to victory, he's sending his army in waves. That way, because if, if he sends them all at once, the trebuchet will destroy their dreams. Everything they would hope for would be over. Oh, my God. So now you guys understand why this is such a long battle. Because look at all these orcs, and this is just two armies so far, two armies, and there's still uh, there's still five, or well, there's not five more, there's still three more. <laughs> so yeah, it's crazy. Uh, so now he's got orcs charging in. It's gonna get laggy, guys, just because of the sheer size of this battle. But the shield shielded fountain guard uh, holding the gates against. Let's see, what do we got here? Just orc fodder. Work fodder. Now this formation's a little sloppy from Gondor, but it's okay. They're fountain guard, and they're taking on orc fodder. So, like, how, it's just such a. I, I still can't get over that name. Like, that's such a demoralizing name. At least, like, pretend they're not fodder for the orcs' morale. Like, for the orcs' sake, just call them like, you know, first first responders or something. You know, like, I don't know. Just don't call them fodder, like, oh, you're part of the fodder unit. You're probably gonna die. <laughs> you're gonna charge in first. Hey, but we all gonna start somewhere, right? <laughs> Maybe you can move up through the ranks. I bet there's some orcs that are in some Uruk units. Well, no, because I think Uruk is like a different type of orc, so never mind. I was thinking it as if you could, like, move up in ranks to the Uruk status, but I don't know. Whatever. I don't give a damn about Orc society. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, the fight for the gate is just a brutal one. Close combat. Very nasty. Uh, you can see just the... Oh, in Gondor. What is he doing? What is this? You don't need this many men at the gate. Uh, it's getting really crazy over here. Just look at all the dead Orcs here. Look at this. Just like, the, it's a carpet of dead troops, and the orcs are really pushing through. He's got men going up the ladder constantly. Just a constant attack. Constant, constant attack. And I still, the second wave, I don't expect him to break through. I think it's going to come down to the third wave. By the way, this army flanking around, this is the one commanded by Orange. Uh, he has, also Umad also has some forces over here as well. So I think once they use this army to attack the other side of the settlement, it's going to get a lot more interesting. Because right now, it's just... Oh, trebuchet. Trebuchet! There we go. Nice hit on these orc raiders. Uh, so yeah, that's a, that's a good way. I like it. I think they're using their trebuchet pretty wisely. They're just waiting. They're not constantly shooting. They're just, you know, softening up, getting a, a couple hits here and there. But... Uh, but yeah, also, I haven't seen as many arrows, or at least maybe I just haven't been paying attention. I see some arrows, but maybe the defenders realize, hey, we've got to slow down here. Uh, oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> There's a lot of arrows. Okay, never mind. Forget that. Uh, we also have some scouts over here, so we finally have some archers for the attacking side, which is going to be really helpful in their assault because this, this infantry-only army is just not getting the job done. And they're really pushing through the gate. Look at that. They're committing so many forces uh, to this Gondor blob. Look at this. What is this? What is this supposed to be? <laughs> Reform your army, man. Come on. It's like they all want to get a piece of it. Like, I want to get in there and kill some orcs. My blade is dry. I want to make it wet. All right, so let's zoom back in. You can see the orcs are just piling up, ready to charge onto the ladder through the gates. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to do my best to try to zoom in. The laggier it gets, the more challenging it is to... Uh, uh, 
There we go. So, yeah, it doesn't seem like these guys are breaking. They glitch out on the walls, but they're breaking. Uh, they don't really have a lot of troops charging up here. And we've got a lot of archers on the walls. So, it's like they're sending up their depleted, like, no ammo archers to help defend this one. Uh, so, that is a sign that the orcs are slowly chipping away at these Gondor defenders. And, guys, I'm really trying to just control look at this i slightly move and it goes so freaking far the damn lag man the damn lag uh but yeah these the gondor men here are doing a good job uh but i think at this point in the battle is where it's going to get interesting this is where the defenses really show s signs of like deterioration you know like slowly falling about crumbling a little bit uh, it's not the end of the world uh, but I think the defenders also have a very important... They, they, they've got to know when they've got to fall back, right? They've got to... If we look at their defense, you can see they've got a layered defense. That means that eventually they will fall back from the outer defenses, which I think is smart because uh, having a layered defense of, like, fresh troops can definitely help, uh, the you know, the long run of the battle. Uh, but, yeah... Also, also by giving up this outer defense, these wall or the streets here are pretty open, where the defenders can use their catapults and get some pretty big hits. So that's another uh, reason why they should fall back eventually, not right now, but soon, because um, you know they could they could easily get really really great hits, really like really like game changing hits, because the orc army is so large that. <laughs> They're gonna be blobbed up. It's the it's gonna happen. So here marches the final section of the second wave, led by Arnor to victory. Now I hope you don't mind that I'm doing a lot of cuts in the early stages of this battle because this one is like insanely long. Also, the first couple waves are pretty mindless. Uh, you know, like it's just orcs charging into choke points. Uh, this fight is still, you know, still going on. You haven't missed much. Uh, but yeah, the orcs just... Basically, the orcs, they're charging in. They're getting, like, one kill every once in a while. But they're mostly charging in and dying. So it's not like we're missing some great footage here of, like, crazy important strategy or anything like that. And like I said earlier, just I'm trying to keep up with the pace of the battle because I don't want it too long. Like, I don't want this one to be, like, an hour and a half, but... If it happens to be that long, then so be it. Uh, but yeah, I am I am trying to keep up with the pace of this battle. Just trying to keep it going. And that way you guys don't, aren't getting too bored of just watching orcs die in three choke points. Because that's basically what it is at the start of this battle. But I promise you guys, it gets better as it progresses. Once the next couple waves go in, it's going to be a good show. So I might have a couple more edits here and there throughout the battle replay, but overall, uh, it should be good. Should be good. Uh, but yeah, here comes some Uruks. Uh, now, the final stage of this army uh, is going to be moving in. So the final section is what I meant. Uh, they are going to have a lot of good units like Uruks. Uh, he's got more scouts. Look at that. He's actually trying to put up a fight against the defending archers. And the cool thing, in case you didn't know, in Osgiliath, you can actually fire through these buildings. And they are, do look at this, they're actually, they got Wardens of Minas Athel taking them out pretty nicely. Like, they're doing a good job. This is good. So finally, he has an answer to silence these archers and try to fight back, answer back. Archer's going to be pretty huge in this situation. Uh, and again, I'm sorry about the lag, guys, but it's a 10-year-old game and uh, there's so many units on the battlefield, so... It's like you sacrifice the lag so you can get these massive battles. Or you, you deal with the lag, is what I meant to say. Wow, the orcs are still making no progress at the gate. There's so many of them just trying to get through. Uh, I don't even think they're charging up this ladder anymore. Yeah, Gondor not even really putting up too much of a fight there. And then over at this gate, there's still just like like thousands of orcs. They are getting sprayed down with arrows, so that's a good target to go after with arrows. Again, I wouldn't use too many or too much ammo here because these orcs will die eventually. 
and you want to save it for the more elite okay, armies. Okay, so remember how I said that was his last section of his army? I was wrong. He actually has trolls, and he's charging them in right now into this uh, this opening, and he's going to try to do what trolls do best, disrupt the formation, and break through the Gondor infantry. There he goes. The there, there he goes. The great trolls of Mordor. They're going to try to muscle their way through this and hopefully give a path for the orcs to break through and uh, and, and just get through these forces. Uh, now, <laughs> I don't know if this is going to be helpful because of all of Gondor's infantry. Uh, they've got a lot of troops here just piled up. I don't even think uh, trolls will be able to break through this formation of a uh, of, uh, of fountain guard with shields and, and just their great pikes. So, uh, it's worth a shot. You might as well at this point because you got nothing else to lose. But yeah, the trolls, they're doing their best to get through here. But it just, yeah, you can see that they're not really doing much. I think they help the orcs a little bit. You can see they're kind of getting past the wall. Look at that. But even if they do, they're not going to be able to, you know, kill these guys. It's, not, it's just not going to happen. So yeah, the trolls, I, I can imagine that once they start losing their hit points... They're going to start falling pretty quickly. They're going to start dropping pretty quickly. So that's, yeah. It's pretty exciting. I I'm glad he has trolls, though, because it's definitely going to help. It's going to help their assault. Oh, there they go. There they go. They're starting to drop now. And once you see one troll drop, they tend to all drop at the same time. So watch. You'll see another one drop pretty soon. Watch like none of them die. There we go. There goes one. Oh my god. The lag is insane in this battle. Just gross lag. Also, I'm hearing some artillery fire. I think he's just trying to kill the troops in the back line. We've got what's left of the reserves way back here. The Uruk Halberds, uh, which are going to be... The Halberds are going to be a game changer. I mean, they're pretty good at, um, you know, fighting in choke points, which is what this situation is right here. Uh, so I think that's going to be really important. Let's go back to the troll battle, though, and uh, watch them just put up their, their final fight here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now he's down to two trolls, down to one troll. It's all up to you, sweet prince. You can do this. You can do this. Nah, he can't do anything. He's trying, though. It's just like, too many fountain god. I can't do it. And look, they already pushed back the orcs. Oh, tragic. Very tragic indeed, but it was worth the effort. Definitely, definitely worth the effort there to try to break through uh, the Gondorian lines. Come on, you can do it. We should name him. Let's name him Peter. Let's name him Hank. Oh no, he's dead. <laughs> he's dead. We shouldn't have named him. Now I have a connection to him and I'm just, I'm so sad. But yeah, that's it. That's it for the trolls. More orcs are charging into the breach point. I think he's uh, sending his halberds over to the gate as well, which is a good spot. Still a lot of reserves in the back here. And um, I think the orcs are also pushing in to this gate as well. All right. Well, would you look at this? We've got the the attack on the other, st other side starting up here. Uh, so that this is exciting. This is where the battle is going to get... A lot more like strategic. There's going to be more strategy. It's going to be good. It's going to be good fun. Uh, so yeah, finally the Orcs of the Misty Mountains, they're going to be pushing up, using their ram to knock down this gate. Uh, now we've got, oh man, this is brutal. He's got two units, shield wall formation, dull Amroth men at arms, ready to hold the gate. Uh, whatever comes through this gate, most likely Orcs and Trolls, we will stand. We are the men of Dol Amroth. And uh, we'll do it. We'll do it. We're gonna be all right. We're gonna be all right. So yeah, I can imagine they're gonna hold here for a pretty long time. There's been a pretty nasty skirmish between the two factions. Uh, they've been focusing on these rangers. Uh, they they've lost quite a bit, uh, but there's still some Dunedain rangers over on this side. So again, just get them. Just get them wasting their ammo. That's all you can do. Uh, but they still have a lot of forces, lots of troops here. So I think they're gonna be able to do some damage here. I wouldn't be surprised if. Oh, look at that trebuchet fire. See that? Hold on. Let's look at that. Where is that going? Let's go way over here. I think uh, I think we're getting the next... Yeah, we're getting the third... Okay, so this is like officially the start of the third wave. Where uh, we've got Metz. He's charging in. 
his uh, his Uruks and archers. I think he's just charging in his archers first. And the trebuchet are now becoming a little bit more trigger happy, if you know what I mean. They're just kind of like, all right, this is this is where we can kind of use our ammo here because we are now taking on more elite units. Uh, so also we've got a catapult from Mordor, which is going to be huge. The catapult. Oh, there goes the gates on the other side, by the way. The catapult opening fire. I don't know what they're going for, though. Let's. See. Oh, they're going for the wall. Okay, so that might be why they didn't put a ladder there. Now Gondor is fleeing from this wall. This could be huge, guys. This could be the breakthrough that the orcs need. Uh, being able to break through a section of this wall. Now, sometimes this glitches out and you can't actually run through it, which would be bad. But at the very least, they got Gondor off the walls. So I think that's that's a pretty good situation, you know, silencing those archers and stuff. Uh, but the gate battle is just a, a mess right now. Uh, so that's still going on. Same thing over here. Gondor's... Wait, is Gondor pushing out? Oh my god, what a mistake there. The orcs need to capitalize on that. Orcs need to uh, surround these forces. Surround them, take them out. It's so, so vitally important. Man, I, I'm going to need some water for this battle. This is going to be a long one. We're not even halfway through, guys. I feel like I've been recording for an hour already. Not even halfway through. It's insane. All right, orcs. This is your chance. Surround and kill. I don't know why Gondor is charging out like this. It could have been a misclick. You know, he could have told them to attack the unit instead of just, you know, having them in guard mode. But, yeah, he's out there fighting. And uh, that's a good way to lose a lot of defenders. And the orcs are like, look at the orcs on the ladders. They're now coming down. Oh, my God. It's so laggy. I can't even zoom in. They're coming down because they're like, oh, oh, you're coming out to attack. Okay, we'll come down and face you. <laughs> what? So what a massive battle, guys. Just huge fight. All right, so let's go back. Uh, let's go back here. Oh, my God. So many units are moving right now. Wow! What in the world, Dol Amroth? This is not a good idea. This is not a valid tactic. Never. I mean, unless it's a rare situation where you've got to charge out and try to kill a very vulnerable unit, don't charge out of the gate like this because your men, it's basically, this should be the opposite, where the orcs are charging in and the Gondor is surrounding them. But over here, the Dol Amroth, or Dol Amroth, whatever, Dol Amroth has now put him put himself in a situation where he is getting surrounded and butchered. He broke his shield wall. This is not a good formation. Now, to be fair, the Mordor you mad is just kind of blobbing up his troops here. I would try to send back a couple troops. I don't think you need this many troops to fight here. Uh, but regardless, this is definitely a win for Mordor. Not only on this side are they charging out. But they're also charging out over on this side as well. Oh my god! What is going on? I thought it was a misclick, but this seems like a, uh, a strategy that all the defending players are doing. They're charging out and facing the orcs. Maybe they're like, man, this battle is too laggy. Let's try to charge out and kill orcs quickly. And if we lose a couple troops, it's not a big deal because they'll make it less laggy. I have no idea. But yeah, they're charging out of this battle and tanking out these orcs. Look at this. Why? Why are you doing this? Well, they might still win, but even if they do, they could have saved a lot more men just being a bit more defensive. And since they're so heavily outnumbered, you know, honestly, the balance of power is not that bad. Um, it's pretty greatly in favor of the attackers. Um, but... Yeah, it's not that. They've killed 45%. But to be fair, guys, that 45% that they've killed of these orcs, it's the weaker 45%. You know, the, the, the other half of the army is much stronger. So it looks like the Fountain Guard, I don't know if they're going to try to get out of there. They're kind of making a weird, weird movement there. The fight's still going on at this gate. All right, back over here. Yeah, Dol Amroth's just dying. <laughs> just dying. Uh, he's got some, some halberdiers uh, ready to hold, which is good. But look at even the men who are like, no, we shouldn't have charged out there. Look, they're, they're turning back to look at their halberdiers. Like, let us through. This was a terrible idea. Whose idea was this? <laughs> All 
Now, maybe it was because the players were trying to make the battle. I, I mean, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they felt like they had too much of an advantage, and they're like, you know what? Let's just throw out some troops to try to make this battle closer. I doubt that was the reason, but that is a possibility. But I still think that's insane because... Uh, never underestimate Mordor when they have five, when they have two whole armies more than you, and uh, it's in there greatly in favor. So, who knows? Not really sure. Uh, but now we've got, I think they're going to go for the other gates, and the defenders are having to scramble some troops over here. He's got some spears, some Tarnostian guard. <laughs> toast. Reminds me of Toast. Uh, but yeah, they're here to defend the gate. So they quickly are able to set up defenses there. And then we've got some heavy goblin infantry. Orange is now sending up some troops as well. Uh, re remember, they still have this huge force back here. So they've got a lot of men left, uh, which will be able to push through. And guys, guess what? We're finally halfway through this battle. It's, it's just now been halfway. It's crazy. Crazy. Alright, so here comes the third wave over here, still trying to take out the Fountain Guard who are putting up a good fight outside the walls. A really good fight. And I think it's good that the Orcs are mostly concentrating their forces in this section of the battle. Instead of like, you know, sending troops everywhere, they've got most of the troops just trying to kill the out, out defend, you know, the, the defenders out in the walls. It does have some orcs coming up the ladder, but it's not too much. Not too much at all. Look at this. He's got so many men. Come. They might have to send over more orcs over here because Gondor, or I'm sorry, Arnor is just pushing out so many troops along with some archers. So that's another sign that he's running out of ammo. The catapult is set, guys. Look at this. He's pushed up his catapult. A lot of them have been destroyed, though. This wall has been destroyed 68%. Uh, he's got to be careful because he's all he's only down to one catapult here, which could be a disaster if he loses it. Honestly, I would use this catapult to kill Gondor. Use the catapult to kill these men out here. Like, that's another reason why you don't want to charge out of your walls because it leaves your men out in the open for archer fire and catapult ammo, you know, fire. So you got to watch out for that. Uh, back over on this side, though, uh, the fight still raging on. Orcs are almost inside the settlement, ready to storm the gate here, take on the halberdiers. And I think over here they're still trying to get this gate down. So, uh-oh. These guys, no, come on, keep pushing it. It's good that they, they definitely need to get, get the gate down. I think they should just keep going to these gates. Oh, this one's blocked off. Okay. Can't go through that one. You can only go through the two. Alright, but still, that's another another entry point, which uh, will make the defenders have to spread out their forces a little bit. Oh my god, there's so many troops on the freaking battlefield. It's so freaking laggy. It's so long. Oh man. There we go. They finally have reached the Halberdiers. We got an epic fight for a very important location of the settlement. Uh, now, how many defend? Look, he's doesn't he over on this side? He doesn't really have a lot of reserves. So once these halberdiers fall, the orcs will be in the city, and uh, the trebuchet will be in jeopardy. Uh, he's got some Arthedain men at arms. I think he's got a unit over here too. Some Haven Guard, which is a great unit, uh, which he might push forward a little bit later. I think he's just keeping him keeping him away from uh, archer fire. Alright, so the fight's still raging on here. Uh, Arnor is making great progress. Maybe Arnor's trying to cut through and get behind this huge blob of orcs. Uh, but it doesn't seem like he's going to be able to because we do have the reinforcements here from the third wave. And they're going to be able to contain them and prevent them from being able to charge over across the battlefield and to flank around these orcs. And now the orcs are victorious. They finally killed the Gondor men who sallied out. And it's now 24% to 52%. Uh, so, pretty huge, uh, pretty huge range between the two percentage uh, numbers. 
but still it's remember the weaker part of their army has died and Gondor uh, Gondor I mean all they have are good units like all the defenders all they have is good units so they've lost a good 25% you know they lost a good amount of, of good men is what I'm trying to say uh, but once again it looks like he's trying to sally out and take on these orcs Oh wait, what is this? Trolls! How did they get through? Wait, what in the world? Do my eyes deceive me? How is this possible? Wait, how did these trolls get... Was the gate open? How did this... Oh my god, this is huge! These trolls come out of nowhere! And now they're behind the halberdiers. And that's gonna help these orcs cut through here. It might be time to send in the Haven Guard, which he is right now. He's moving up the Haven Guard. I can't even imagine what these players, uh, like all this lag, like how long this battle took to play. Like insane amount of time. It's just crazy. Uh, but yeah, the trolls, they're fighting the good fight. They're starting to die though, but they did their job. And now the orcs are going to just use their numbers. Look at this. Just the floodgates have opened and the city very important choke point has been lost and now the trolls or trolls are going to move on to the next uh, unit here which is the spearmen and now the fact that the spears have left their defenses over here they could come back here i mean he didn't open up the gate but i think he could he could easily do it again so like just come back you know but he is sending over reinforcements lots of reinforcements we got talon knights we have uh wardens of minas ethiel we've got veterans of osgiliath so lots and lots of units coming over to reinforce this fight. I think they're coming over to defend the gate or maybe just coming over to help defend over here. The trolls are keeping back all these spears and now the orcs are pumping through this street, charging through the street and trying to keep the Haven Guard in, in their place, you know, preventing them from getting to the choke point. Very good, very good fight there. Awesome. All right, so the Uruks are doing a pretty good job here. This is this is the most promising sign yet for the attackers. So far, it's just been death, death and destruction for their forces. Gondor once again charging out more troops. Let's see what's left of this third wave here. Let's see what they've got. Uh, he still has some troops. He still has a lot of troops. So we are, we're, we're getting to the close here. He still has a ton of troops. Uh, I think this is the last army. Yeah, Umad has the last section of his force. He's got the Olag High. He's got, you know, catapults and stuff. Uh, so yeah, they, they're finally starting to run out of troops here. Uh, in a way, they still have a ton. Uh, but yeah, Arnor still out in the open. We do have trolls, but we do have a catapult. The trebuchet firing. Really good spot for the trebuchet. That's perfect. Firing through this little opening here. Really great use of the catapult. But again, you gotta watch out for the catapult. Oh, they also have a ballista. You want you don't want to use all your ammo for the catapult. You wanna try to um you know save it for the final stand because I promise you these orcs will break through this defense. It's just a matter of time. So there we go, killing more troops. Just perfect angle. Really good use. They gotta watch out for the friendly fire though, but that's a good use of the catapult. I like seeing that. That's going to be a game changer. Absolute game changer. Alright, so the defenses are starting to thin here a little bit. We might see the orcs actually push through and get behind Arnor. Uh, back here, the orcs still muscling their way through. Dol Amroth desperately trying to close in the gap here and, you know, just contain these orcs, preventing them from being able to get behind the other flanks of the defense, which they're doing a pretty good job on doing. Uh, now, I don't know if the orcs, can they go through here? I doubt they could go through here, which would be huge if they could just run over this way and then get behind some of the defenders or something like that, but it, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, but yeah, the, oh, wait, 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 wait. 
he's got orcs headed that way. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. We will find out. A wall battle here. On the top of the wall. Still going crazy, guys. Uh, and there's no way I'm going to zoom in on this wall. But you can see there's a lot of orcs on this wall. I think Gondor's finally going to lose it. I think they're going to lose this wall. And that's another huge location. Not, not only breaking through the gate, but if they can get through this wall, obviously they can get troops around here and get behind the defenders. So, uh, yeah, it's really just, I think, mostly Gondor Citadel archers, rangers. So, yeah, he's mostly got archers who used up all their ammo. Now, the Kingdom of Arnor is actually sending up reinforcements to support his troops on the walls. But what I would do is just contain this area like protect this area send up fresh units and go uh through this little walkway right here that i'm circling so if he can do that he doesn't even have to take all of the wall he just needs to take all some of it and then he can push troops out of the wall and support the the defense down here uh which i think would be pretty huge i think it would be very helpful god there's so many orcs it's ridiculous So I think this is like the most critical part of the battle right here. Uh, just the fact that this is a bit more like a pitch battle. Uh, oh, and the javelins are firing. We got the Marines firing. Uh, just, you know, trying to soften up these orcs as the orcs continue to muscle, muscle their way through. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that, guys. Still recovering from a... I think I had the flu, I'm pretty sure. Because I had a temperature of like 102.9. It was crazy. And I don't think you get that from the cold. Like, I don't think you get that high of a temperature temperature from the cold. So, yeah, I, I feel great today, though. I don't... I mean, I sound all right. But my throat... It's, it's kind of hard to do a long commentary like this. But I'm enjoying this battle so much that it's not It's not that bad. It's, it's really not that bad. Uh, but yeah, the orcs are, are definitely getting some ground here. I think they're making some progress. Uh, I would really try to get... I think they've got a catapult, right? I'm pretty sure they have a catapult back here. Um, if I could find it. Uh, maybe not. I, I thought they had one, though. Am I just... Yeah, I guess not. I swear to God they had a catapult. I swear to you they had a catapult. Let's see, they've got forces back here. Uh, no, they don't. I don't know. I guess these are... What the hell? It's showing troops on the mini-map over here, but there's nothing. What is, what's the deal with that? I don't get it. I don't get it. All right, so yeah, back here, just, you got evil versus good. The ultimate battle. Uh, and this is, again, this is the most promising section side of the battle for these orcs if they want any chance of winning this one. Alright, so Uruk still fighting Arnor. Arnor is thinning out, but they keep on killing these orcs. They just keep on killing them. And then the orcs here um, still fighting the good fight. Now, it's funny. This is a wave battle, right? Well, I don't even think the orcs would be even able to attack. Like, the only way they can attack is in waves, you know? Just the way this defense is set up. That's the only way. That's the absolute only way uh, that they could actually attack the settlement is in waves. Like, that's the smart thing to do. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Still try to cut through the shield fountain guard. The men on the walls still trying to break through a little bit. Trying to get through these walls. And uh, back over here. Uh, we've got more Uruks, but this is a pretty even battle. I, it just seems like they're not too interested, which I don't know why. But I really think they should try to take this wall here as quickly as possible. Uh, back over here, we've got more troops uh, this way. Mordor sending up uh, more men. Uh, he's got some trolls. He's got a catapult. Uh, wait, did they lose their catapult here? Are they down to one? What happened? What happened to the catapult? I don't know how that happened. 
Uh, but yeah, he's down to one catapult. Uh, but yeah, he's just kind of getting his last remaining force ready to attack. And then uh, back over here on this side. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, oh, okay. So the defenders are actually kind of pushing back the orcs. There's a little gap here that the orcs could try to use, try to get behind. Uh, but we'll see what happens. I mean, this defense just seems too strong, guys. I, I, these orcs are really struggling. Yeah. They're really struggling. Like, they haven't even been able to break through a single uh, breach point. But we'll see. I mean, all it takes is, like, one break. That's all it takes. And they can turn this battle around. So it's definitely going to be a close one. Now they're sending over units over to the other gate. So maybe uh, they might try to surprise the enemy there. Uh, but we'll see what happens in that situation. Let's go back over to the, this juicy battle here and see how this one plays out. It's close. I mean, it's, it's a grindy one, but it's, it's close. I mean, they could keep sending over reinforcements, but... Oh, there goes another general. I, I believe that's an orc general. I would be surprised if one of the defenders left their generals on the walls. So, yeah, I'm pretty certain that is an orc general. And now we have veteran of, uh, veterans of, of Osgiliath, the halberdiers, charging in as well. Uh, so there's the extra reinforcements. But this is the most concerning part right here. Look how thin this line is. And again, there's a little gap here that I think the orcs should try to take advantage of and get behind. Do they have any extra reserves? They do. Uh, they are marching up some goblin halberds. So maybe they'll try to flank them around and get behind the defenders. That would kill them so quickly. They would, they would fall apart so quickly. All right, let's head back this way. Um... But the fight is still Arnor just hanging on by a thread over at this gate. And uh, over here, Gondor once again charging out and just butchering these orcs. <laughs> That's what it's coming down to. Uh, there's just not enough breach points, I think. There's not enough breach points. Look at the dead trolls. Look at this. Oh my god. The death and destruction. What can you do against such reckless hate? All right, so the final wave is pushing in. We've got Umad Commander, who is sending up his Uruks. Uh, and Umad, I believe, is the last player to charge in. Now, the orcs are starting to run out of gas. But let's hope, for the orcs' sake, uh, that they... Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Look at... As this battle progresses, it's, it's looking worse and worse for the orcs. Orcs are not really trying to... I don't know why they're not going for this gap. But it looks like Gondor is going to be able to hold here against this force and maybe even protect it against this army. So, uh, yeah, this is a nasty situation for these, these halberd orcs. Who knows? I mean, it looks like they're pushing them back, but these are halberds, like goblin halberds. So they might be able to rack up a lot of kills against the uh, the swordsmen of Gondor. You know, swordsmen have a tough time fighting in melee against halberds. Uh, so we'll see how this one turns out. But so far, looking at just the numbers, it's I mean it's fairly even. But it looks like uh, Dol Amroth and the defenders are uh, slowly taking this one back. Uh, they're slowly but surely taking it back. And then uh, over here, more troops. Let's see what's happening here. Oh yeah, big blob still fighting here, still still just grinding it out. We do have an admit defeat by one of the players. I bet that was Cole or something like that. One of the early attackers for sure. Um, but let's let's see. Can we zoom in? Nope. I want to zoom in on this wall. But there we go. See the orcs starting again slowly. It's all just slow trying to take out these defenses uh, and just and just softening them up. Again, it's if they can break, if they could just break through these uh, these these choke points, then this is going to be a lot more challenging for the defenders. But <laughs> so far, I just don't think if I don't like look at this, they still have a solid amount of troops. They still have let's see, they still have over half their army. <laughs> they have in in the attackers lost seventy six percent of their army. Good God. 
Oh my god. So, at this point, the attackers definitely need a miracle. They, they really do. Um, but it's not impossible at this point. Now remember, they've got a catapult. They have trolls. They can break through this for sure. Uh, they can they can achieve it, uh, but we'll see what happens. Uh, these halberds are look at this. The halberds are doing some damage. Look at you can see the numbers dropping dropping pretty quickly here. They are certainly dropping, and I'm starting to lose my voice. <laughs> my God, this is a long battle. <laughs> this is so long. <laughs> Uh oh, do we have some breakage here? No, it doesn't look like it. The orcs are kind of holding on here. So it's still a, an epic matchup. Uh, now the good news is that the defenders, you can see, they don't really have a lot, a lot of reserves anymore. Like, I don't think they want to commit any more troops. I think they want to keep all these troops back here to hold the inner streets. They can't afford to send over more reinforcements. So, once again, if the orcs can break through this, then they, they can put pressure on the other side of this defense. And then, you know, hopefully that would open up a little pathway for these orcs. You know, a little section for the orcs. Uh, but that's what they need at this point. Over here, too, look at this. They've completely given up this defense. They do have some infantry kind of waiting right here. I think they're just defending because the orcs can charge through this way. So we do have some Arnorian peacekeepers. Uh, not doing a good job of keeping the peace. Not doing a good job. Uh, but we go to the gate. And uh, yeah, he's got his Uruks going in. Finally, they're breaking through this defense. Finally. And that might show 50% oh, now. So they've killed 50% of the defenders. All right, so there we go. They're breaking through. Infantry still fighting the good fight over at this gate. The uh, wall battle still underway. Let's see if we can get a. We can zoom in here. Come on, zoom in. Nope. I just. I can't do it, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <coughs> Yeah, I don't know if I'm losing my voice because I'm sick or just this battle is extremely long. I really don't know. Uh, but even with the edits, I mean, this is going to be such a long battle. Uh, but yeah, Gondor is, is getting chewed up. He's getting really chewed up. These halberds are definitely making, like, turning this one around. Uh, he's sending in, like, uh, wait, 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 Mordor, hold on. Look at this. He's got men breaking through. Mordor is sending over maulers coming over to flank around these men. Insane. Insane. So that's going to really help this situation where they're going to be able to surround these men and hopefully start to break their morale and kill them. Wow. Wow, that's huge. So here they come. Keep on charging in. Go, men, go. Charge. They desperately need that support, too. They might just be able to save this force. We do have some sons of Argonoth coming over to try to slow down these troops. Um, they're not even concerned about the trebuchet because most likely the trebuchet is out of ammo. Uh, but yeah, they have broken through this this position here. The floodgates finally, finally, uh, the attackers have been able to break through this gate. And now they can uh, start to support other sections of the siege. Uh, they still have to get through this gate. But if they can break through this line of peacekeepers, they would be able, be able to flank around and get some support. Now archers are fine. Archers are going to be key in this defense, guys. <coughs> 
excuse me, sorry about that. Archers are gonna be key about the uh, key in this defense or this attack, I should say, because they need to soften up a lot of these troops if they're gonna have any chance of of winning this battle today. So there we go. There we go. So much needed support here. Uh, I don't know. They still need to send over more men, uh, which they are. I'm surprised that they're not coming over and blocking this path right here. Like, why are they not stopping the orcs? I'm not too sure. I guess, again, they're afraid of just sacrificing too many men. And they want to make it so... But, like, I feel like you would save a lot more men defending this section. Because that would keep the orcs back and prevent these guys from killing them. So... Yeah, that's why I'm a bit confused. Maybe because they've got so many men here. It's like, oh, we can hold the, the rear with the sons of Argonaut. You know, I don't, I don't really know if that's their mentality coming into this one. But it's just so... I'm just so relieved that the orcs have finally broken through a choke point. And it looks like they might be able to break through it. Like, once they start falling, they fall faster and faster. Because uh, the defenders start to lose control of the battlefield. Alright, so more and more of the forces pushing through the gate. More of the army pushing forward. Uh, he's sent in pretty much everything. He's got a small group of elite forces. Like the Temple Inquisitors. The Olag High. The good news is that this battle is starting to get a little bit smoother. Because units are starting to die from both sides. So it's, it's definitely going to get better as this one progresses. You know, like lag-wise. Uh, but these Fountain Guard put up a hell of a fight. Just an absolute hell of a fight. Now we got trolls in the back. What the hell? It's almost like they've got some special ability where they're spotting trolls uh, just wherever they want. So trolls able to, I guess, just sneak by? I have no idea how they trolled. Maybe they went through this gap. But they're now attacking this pike unit. I think you should have waited, though, uh, because it would have been a little bit more effective if they were attacking in the front and from the rear. So now he's charging in uh, some Axemen into these pikes. It's going to be a, a nasty situation, but not too bad. And now the trolls are coming over to the other side and supporting this struggle here. So now they're attacking on multiple flanks. And the it's 56 to 83%. The orcs really need to start to turn this one around. They've got to turn this one around. They, now that they've gotten a couple breach points, I think that uh, they can start to chip away at the defenders a little bit better now that they're out in the streets. But we'll see what happens. Also, look at this. We've got some underground goblins who I think the underground goblins can hide anywhere. So that's probably why we didn't see them. I think that's what's, excuse me, that's what's back here, I assume, is the fact that they have underground goblins over here. Uh, that are just kind of hiding. Uh, so, yeah, I think that he's slowly sending in the underground goblins. There goes another general, though. That's that's pretty huge. So, another death of a general. I think um, Mordor is starting to run out, though. Yeah, so the goblins are... Uh, they're running thin, guys. They're really running thin. Underground goblins uh, starting to get pushed back. So, yeah, it, I think it's just too late. It's too late for the attackers. They were not able to get there in time. Uh, more of these orcs just kind of pushing in. And the pikes, they are doing a good job. Look at this. The orcs are just dropping dead near the edges of these pikes. Doing a great job of just keeping back the enemy. And uh, really just holding this flank. So this is going to be pretty tough for them. Very tough for them. Uh, let's see what else is going on over here. Uh, okay, so we got the final section of this attacking force now remember the attackers are down to 85 or they lost 85 percent, so they have 15 percent left of their army it is an elite force but they're gonna need them also through here they've broken through the gate 
So it's about time they did that. Good old breaking through the gate. There we go. Now the orcs are pushing through this gate. They've got their Sauron's will, which are going to be able to do a lot of damage. Uh, it's unfortunate that they're not trying to use archers in this situation. I guess they're just trying to overwhelm these pikes with sheer numbers. They are getting a little bit closer down here. Uh, just trying to get past the pikes. If they can do that get in, you know, in proper melee range, then they might be able to start killing these guys. And Gondor is pretty much victorious here. Let's see, where are they going? Uh, I guess they're just kind of leaving here. But yeah, they're pretty much victorious. But uh, they're, they're so depleted that there's not much they can do with these men. You know, I guess they could come back and support their troops. But they're, you know, they won, but they lost. They won at a cost, you know. Uh, they lost a lot of good men here in this, in this fight. All right, so let's head back over to this side uh, where the fight's still raging on here, trying to take out the pikes. This Halbert's trying to grind through. This, this battle has been just such a grind fest. We are at the final stage of the fight. I mean, there's still like, you know, 15 minutes or so. <laughs> Something crazy insane like that. But this is going to be it, guys. Uh, this is gonna if who knows if the orcs can break through and win this one. That would be great I'm rooting for them uh, Because at this point they are the underdog uh, But they're gonna need a lot of just miracles to win this one. They need a lot of archers They need catapult fire. They need all that good stuff I can't believe the wall battle still go like how many dead troops do you think there are on this wall like really think about it like there's probably thousands like they would probably have to throw the dead bodies off the wall just to create space so they can walk around but finally finally guys these fountain guard will just not die uh, but they have broken through and they're now charging ready to charge the uh, the pikes over here I am seeing some blood splatter over here, so maybe they are hitting them with uh, with arrows, uh, which would be good. Uh, but here we go. Here comes the charge. Charge, man, charge! Oh, my God. I'm losing my voice. It's so bad. I'm going to need some tea after this one. I swear. This is just such a long battle. A good battle, though. An enjoyable battle, but just long. All right, Olag High coming in through the gap here. Look at this. Look at this, guys. So they're not out yet. They're still putting up a good fight. Oh, but the tre the artillery. We got catapults firing, mostly firing in their own buildings. But, uh, yeah, I would get that catapult a little bit closer. And try to really soften up these orcs. If they get any good artillery hits, that's game. I'm going to call it right here, guys. That is game. So they cannot. They just can't afford to take those hits like that. Cannot afford it. They're getting really close. So those two armies are ready to meet on the battlefield. And then they can push. And, you know, I think it's possible. I really think the attackers can take this one if they're smart about it. If they try to win every engagement, if they have... You know, like, they've got to flank around. Oh, God. Some friendly fire, though. Lots of friendly fire. So that was good. They missed completely. Missed completely. Trolls are starting to fall now, guys. Oh. More catapults closing in. The orcs breaking through the first layer of these fountain guard. Now they're moving on to the Arnor gate guards. 
who are defending the streets near the gate. There we go. And the lag is starting to go away. So many men have died here. The numbers are starting to uh, soften up here. They're starting to lose a lot of men. <clears throat> the orcs are having a tough time trying to break through these pikes, but I mean, you just got to give them time. They don't really have an answer for the pikes. All they can really do is attack the pikes. Now, if they had archers, I would recommend sitting back and using the archers to soften up the pikes. Uh, but yeah, I don't think they have any archers. More heavy uh, maulers coming in. Still trying to fight for this wall. Gondor and Arnor still has a ton of troops up here. And look at that balance of power. 89 to 67%. Trying to break through the peacekeepers, but they don't really need to do that now uh, because they've broken through over here. If anything, they should send over troops to flank around and support, try to surround these peacekeepers. The Olag High are dead, I assume. Look at that. Look at all these dead orcs. That's where the pikes killed them. Look at that. They lost so many orcs to pikes. It's insane. Just crazy. Alright guys, so I made a pretty huge cut there, uh, didn't miss much, just mostly uh, just a grind fest over here. You can see there's a huge battle going on. Uh, now the attackers, they tried to go this way as well, uh, but they are well, you know, the defenders are on top of it, taking out these mountain orc berserkers. We've got some uh, Arthedain men at arms and some haven guard, uh, but yeah, the defenders are... I mean, they're pretty much out of reserves. I mean, look at this. This is what it's going to come down to. It's actually pretty even. It's pretty close. So the attackers are starting to turn this one around a little bit. But yeah, it's just been an, just a massive grind fest. And I don't know if the uh, attack... I mean, the attackers might be able to turn this one around, you know? But there's still a couple reserves for the defenders. So I feel like the orcs are definitely going to get tired here pretty soon. And uh, probably, well, most likely will, uh, just because they're so tired, won't be able to take on the fresh troops of the defenders. So, yeah, this grind fest is still going on. Still going on. Uh, back over here, the pikes. I mean, there's just no progress against these pikes. Just really unfortunate. Really what these heavy, uh, heavy maulers are doing here. Or, I'm sorry, these are Uruks. What the Uruks are doing is that they're just keeping this pike unit distracted uh, so they won't join the fight over on the other side. But you can see, look, they still have another fresh unit of pikes. Like, there's no way, there's just no way that these orcs are going to be able to break through this defense. And if they can, then they have a chance of winning. But because there's so many reserves, there's extra pikes, I just don't see them cutting through. I just, I just don't think it's going to be possible. So the attackers are now on their last leg, guys. I mean, this is this is not pretty. Uh, it, they're down to just a handful of troops. They've got some troops who are able to break through. Uh, they've got the back, Blackback Mountain Berserkers. But now they're feeling the wrath of these pikes. So it's not like they're going to be able to flank around and just turn this battle around. Uh, so I think it's safe to say that the defenders are going to win this one. That's right, defenders don't always lose. So there you go, guys. Not this time. Defenders do not lose. Good stuff there. Very good stuff. I think they were victorious on this side as well. So, yep, sure enough, they are victorious. And, um, and yeah, so the orcs are just getting crushed right now. Over on this side, the orcs are thinning out as well. Just no progress whatsoever. And it looks like the this uh, this orc assault will fail, but that's okay because orc lives do not matter. Okay, so unfortunately we did not. This is the end of the battle. Uh, now it just you know they kill the orcs here. 
Uh, you didn't really miss much. Uh, they just broke the players admit defeat. Uh, there's no end results, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know why that happened, but I, I guess that usually means someone left a little too early or something like that. Uh, but yeah, this was a bloody one. There were so many troops on the battlefield. Just absolutely insane. Uh, so yeah, this is a good one, guys. Uh, I would say it's a little too long, a little too grindy, but still pretty fun to watch. Um, but yeah, this, uh, I mean, it's fairly close. It came down to 82 to 99%. So it wasn't like that decisive of a, of a battle. Uh, but it's just really hard for these orcs to break through these tiny choke points. Uh, but yeah, this is a custom scenario. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you guys so much for uh, joining me in today's battle. Uh, I hope you guys had fun. I'm sorry there's no end results because I bet the kills were just insanely high. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm going to end the video here, guys. Thanks, and I'll see you next time on the battlefield.